Yay! It's working. The magic is happening. It is happening. I, I, this is magic to me. There are fairies inside one of these pieces of technology, and it's making it happen. <laughs> no problem. I totally get it. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. Uh, so for if our heads are bouncing back and forth, it's because we have our Instagram stream growing here, and we've got our uh, Facebook and YouTube stream here. Not sure why we can't do all three, but you know that's the world we're living in. Uh, but it's great to, yeah, it is the magic. Yes, everybody's there is joining. This is magic. Good. <laughs> uh, so welcome everybody to the launch of our Theatre by the Bay's first ever um, 24 hour playwriting contest. This is something that we're really excited about. I think it's going to be a great uh, feature for the community and um, we're really happy to be here. Uh, joining me today is Leah Holder. Uh, Leah, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, yes, as Ian said, my name is Leah Holder, and I'm really excited to be uh, joining the Theatre by the Bay team on the facilitating side of some things this year. Um, so I've been working with Ian on the 24-hour uh, play contest as well as a few other things. Um, and I have a long history of working with Theatre by the Bay, and I think I've done almost every job. <laughs> yes, at some point, as is the Theater by the Bay way. You got to, yeah. Everybody does everything at some point. Uh, awesome. Uh, great. So, uh, Leah, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the contest is and how it's going to work? Uh, yes. So, it is a 24-hour playwriting contest. So, over the course of 24 hours, our playwrights will write a script using three secret components which will be revealed at 6 p.m. exactly. And these three secret requirements or components um, is what really ensures that this play is being written over the 24 hour period. So these are secret, brand new, no one knows what they are except for us. Um, and it will hopefully be three secret things that will really inspire our writers to uh, to, to create something new and wonderful over this 24 hour period. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say the other amazing thing about a 24 hour play is that it is such great motivation and inspiration to write something. So even though so many of us have been kind of stuck at home over the past several months and maybe searching for that creative energy or creative drive, here is a contest that can kind of force you into creating something or at least you know offer offer something to work towards um, and it can be great uh, a great launching point for something you know further on so you spend 24 hours writing this play now and you know maybe you are so passionate about the idea that you then pick it up and and continue working on it after this absolutely I you touched on so many great points there um, I also like that it's almost like a little microcosm for a playwright thing experience in general you know like you're gonna go through a lot of highs and lows you're gonna go on a bit of an emotional roller coaster over this but at the end of the day you've still got to finish that first draft you've still got to make those edits you've still got to you know rest and take breaks and walk away from it so that way the creative juices can start to happen and uh at, but then, you know, you'll hopefully leave with something that you're really excited about and are excited to see carry forward. Yeah. And, you know, a, a lot of writers, you know, talk about how the hardest thing is just to get started. So a, a contest like this can really just be that impetus to, to get started working on something. For sure. And uh, we want to thank uh, the City of Barrie and their Culture Days events, which is the reason that this is all happening. Uh, it, we were deeply honored to be part of it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we wanted to try to contribute something. We usually don't get to do Culture Days events because um, it's just never been a good time of year. But this time it really worked out, and it's something that, of course, you can do from home. Uh, but hopefully we can kind of establish a bit of a virtual community here over the next uh you know, 24 hours or so. Um, now, Leah, there's another part of this that's going to start to launch this contest. Uh, why don't you tell our uh, viewers a little bit about that? Yes. So the the thing that we're going to do to help all of our writers get started and, and kind of percolate some of those ideas is that we're going to run a spark session. Oh, I realize you can't see both of my quotations. <laughs> spark, spark session. <laughs> 
So this is going to be a virtual session. And of course, like so many other things, we would love to be running these things in person and be in the room with other folks, but we can be in the virtual room. Um, and so over a virtual Zoom meeting, um, our participants are going to have the opportunity to work with um, a great playwright who is a good friend of mine, Matthew Haiti. Um, he is uh, lives in Sudbury and has many uh, accreditations to his name. Um, and uh, he is a playwright and a director and a novelist. Um, and he's going to help facilitate some um, writing exercises to, to help our writers investigate those three secret components, as well as start to develop characters and a plot and a setting um, so that our writers can walk out of this spark session ready to roll and ready to, to dive into that um, writing process for the next 24 hours. That's awesome. And a huge thank you to Matt for being part of this as well. I think that's really, really great. And, you know, us uh, Northern Toronto, you know, Northern Toronto artists got to help work together and stick together. And that's awesome. Uh, so for those of you who are just tuning in, what we're doing is we're just kind of going over some general points about the contest. Uh, you haven't missed anything um, juicy yet, or you haven't got the three uh, secret requirements. Those are going to be basically right at the stride of six. So uh, don't worry about that too much. Um, and uh, yeah, what else can we say really? Uh, are there any questions from anybody viewing that they want to ask? Yeah, you're all good. You just because you missed the beginning, uh, you're you're all set. Not a problem. Okay, cool. So uh, I guess I'll just talk a little bit about culture days in general, and then we can kind of go from there. So um, culture days is usually something that uh, runs just for, you know, a weekend, but the city of Barrie had this great idea to kind of expand it into a month long series of events uh, that include virtual events, pop up events and stuff like that. Uh, so I know it's been running for a couple weeks now. I know that some groups like um, Uplift Black and uh, Kempenfeld Community Players have already kind of done a bit of their uh, programming for it, but uh, this is, you know, a big one for the theater community and a big one for us. Um, I have to say it's been fantastic to see the reaction to this online. You know, the response from people has been really, really positive. And uh, who knows, hopefully this is the start of an annual contest that we can continue for, for many, many years. Yes. Uh, and, and hopefully next year, Ian, we can have some part of it together in the Seriously, same room. <laughs> I know, I know. How nice would it be if, you know, the spark session was at a pub or something, you know, to get it started or... <laughs> Ian, <laughs> yeah. Ian don't, don't buzz kill us before we even begin. I know, I know, seriously. Um, but, you It'd know, be bad really... for me though, because when I'm writing a play, I need to be like sober and locked in a room with <laughs> no technology. It's the only chance I have of actually creating a play. So. Oh, and see, I am the opposite. I thrive in like I used to write in bars and pubs. That is my. Ah. That is where my creative juices flow. Um, so this, you know, this period is, is hard for me where everybody has to kind of be alone in, in rooms because I want to go to a noisy pub and write there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, actually, that's a nice segue. So would you have any advice for someone who, you know, is perhaps watching and, and has never written a play before, but is kind of on the fence about it and just and what would you say to help them uh, feel a bit more confident? Uh, well, you know, I, so I was talking to Matthew Haiti this afternoon to get ready for our spark session uh, that happens after this event. And uh, I was talking to him about my own writing process. And, and he was saying, you know, the hardest thing is just to get started. And that if you can, if you can set that, that time aside and have enough of a will that, that there's something that you want to create and write, you know, once you get going, um, and a lot of a lot of other writers say this too that the most frightening thing is a blank page. Right. And if you can if you can just get something on that page, then suddenly you become an editor rather than a creator. And I think a lot of people find it's easier to to edit something or to to make something better rather than kind of starting you know, from nothing, um, you know, which is why these kinds of spark sessions or group writing activities um, are so useful because it's it's a way for everybody to to kind of work together to get something on a page, to get something on your on your computer so that uh, it's not a scary blank page of nothingness, but you're already 
uh, it, editor of, of what's going on in your brain and what's going on on the page. Absolutely. Um, I totally agree with that. I think, yeah, like, you know, if you got a 24 hour window, write that first draft in like two and a half hours, like just pump it out, make sure that it's out there and ready, you know, and then, yeah, like maybe walk away, take a break, uh, try to look at it with fresh eyes and you'll discover all sorts of things about the script. Um, especially with that first draft where you may start writing and not really even know what you want to say yet. Right. Yeah. But by the end of the writing experience of that first draft, you may discover what you were trying to say. And then going back to the script, it's just a matter of, OK, well, how do I rewrite this with that, you know, question or uh, statement or um, message or whatever it is that you want to get out there? You can build that into every aspect of the script. Yeah. And I, I think it's really great for a contest like this also to remember that you know, we're not writing a novel here. It's only, it's only 24 hours. And so, you know, the goal here is a one act play and a one act play can be anywhere from 15 minutes to, you know, an hour. Um, it really, it really depends on what you're able to, to write out. Um, but, uh, heading towards that one act, um, idea. Uh, we've got a we've got a question on the, on the stream yard right now asking how long the play should be. And, you know, everyone's play is going to be a different length, but somewhere between, you know, 15 minutes to 45 or 50, I think is a, is a good uh, chunk of time for a one act. And we'll leave the writer time to go back and edit and continue to, to, um, bejuge is the word I like to use, <laughs> continue to, to make better before the submission deadline tomorrow at 6 p.m. Absolutely. And I think it's, really it's great especially if you're an early stage writer to write something that's really solid and clear and that you're very proud of in you know um a 20 minute script than in a hour and a half long or four hour script or something like that yeah and that this is a this is a launching off point could be a launching off point for something more down the future, you know, when you have more time to, to devote to something. So um, it's almost like when people think about short stories and how then short stories can become novels or, or be the springboard towards something else. You can think of it like that as well. Absolutely. And uh, so uh, there's a question on our Instagram here about how would we calculate the amount of time based on pages? So yeah. like with the lab, for instance, the Berry Theater Lab, a good rule of thumb I have is it's about, what, two minutes per page kind of thing. So 20 pages, 30 pages, you've got a very solid one X script, I'd say. Yeah. And then, you know, if that if that scares you, if you're like, oh, my goodness, how am I going to create 30 pages, you know, 15 pages or you know 12 pages could also be a fantastic script totally. um, and and to me what we're always looking for is you know a strong beginning middle and end strong characters uh and uh, a conflict or a story that that we can kind of jump in on and and find exciting and interesting absolutely and uh, so I hope that, are there any pages. yeah Totally, totally. Are there any um, final questions? Just checking. Want to give people a moment. And if you think of a question later, there is time in that Spark session as well to for us to answer some questions. So don't be afraid. Yeah, how do people find out? Like, how do people get in on that Spark session? So uh, on our Facebook uh, event for the 24-hour play, we're going to copy and uh, we're going to paste in the Zoom link so that you'll be able to to jump in onto that um, Zoom meeting. And uh, we will also be posting a PDF uh, for participants that's going to outline some of these, um, how to submit and some of the, the kind of things to keep in mind for the play, as well as those three secret components. So if you miss them here or your pen doesn't move fast enough, or if you, you fear that you didn't get it down right, don't worry, it will be on a piece of paper somewhere for you. And uh, Kelly Buell, I see a question here. Does the title page count as one page? No, definitely not. No. It's the actual script itself. The title page is not a not a factor. Yeah, and and Kelly, there's no maximum either. Like, if anyone is a, a genius and whips out sixty five perfect pages, we will read them all. Don't you worry. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Uh, great. Well, we're almost at the strike of six. Oh, there is a question from Marissa. How are you two so wonderful? It takes a great partner, you know, to for in my in my experience at least. <laughs> Mine, mine comes from tea. I'm about to put tea in this cup, and I'm very excited. Yes, tea is very important for sure. Well, here we are, everybody. It's the strike of six o'clock, so I want to get um, those those uh, secret uh, requirements out to you, so that way you can get started. Uh, so, drum roll, please. The first requirement is actually the theme of Culture Days, which is unexpected intersections. So whatever that means to you, unexpected intersections, that's, uh, that's, that's the first one. And this will also all be listed on our website. We should say there'll be a PDF you can download with all the information you need. Um, and we'll also make sure it's listed in the comments of the, the Facebook event and yeah. so you'll find them everywhere. So unexpected intersections. The second one is a, the landmark of a town by the water. So this could be, you know, the place where it's set. It could be mentioned offhandedly, whatever that means to you. The, a town by the water needs to factor into your script. And finally, the third one is a prop of a knapsack with a mystery item inside. So a knapsack with some kind of item. So as you can see from all three of these uh, requirements, you know, they're, um, uh, they're meant to be interpretive. You can take them in all sorts of different directions. Uh, so whatever those three things mean to you, that is what we give. But we wanted to make sure that they could be taken in all these different ways. Yes. And they might mean one thing now and mean something completely different in seven hours from now. And that's great. Absolutely. For <laughs> sure. That's what 24 hours are for, right? For sure. Uh, so just to go over those one more time for the people who are joining us, because I see a couple more people are popping in. The three secret requirements are unexpected intersections. So whatever that means to you, unexpected intersections, a town by the water, and a knapsack with a mystery item inside. Everything else is up to you. How you interpret those three things is up to you. And I'm going to get this on our website right now. Amazing. And uh, I am going to jump over to our Zoom meeting. Uh, I am going to put the, the link for the Spark session um, into the um, events uh, discussion board. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. And uh, we will see you all over on that other part of the internet. Great, and uh, Leah, I'm actually thinking I might stay on just in case there's a couple more questions, uh, but uh, I'll leave you to go do your Zoom thing and I'll direct people your way as well. Perfect. That good? Excellent. Awesome. Okay, all right, see you later, Leah. Awesome. Okay. So hi, everybody. Yeah. So I see a couple more questions are popping in. Um, when is the Zoom? So the Zoom is going to happen right now and it's going to go for, a, you know, a little while. So um, uh, for the Spark session. So uh, definitely go check that out. Go get some feedback and support and s start to interpret uh, whatever that means to you. Um, does this start right away? So yeah, it does start now and and we'll carry on, I think, until people run out of ideas. Uh, question over here from Patrick. Are all genres accepted, including musicals? Absolutely. In fact, uh, two of our four judges, who of course I should also mention, um, Leslie Arden, uh, Jesse Collins, Danielle Joy Kostrich, and Alinka Angelova, uh, you know, two of them are musical theater writers themselves. So uh, they'll, they'll be, I'm sure, be very excited at the idea of a musical being there. Um, Trudy, Spark Session. Yes. Yeah, so uh, we're having a little kind of gathering of writers in case you're interested. We have um, a great, uh, um, uh, I guess, guest who's going to help facilitate that. It's happening on our Zoom. It should be listed in the live video description. But uh, I'm just going to, check right now and make sure that that or I think Leah mentioned that she was going to post that in the event but I'll make sure I get that I'll just check that right now awesome
Uh, it's there. Okay, thank you, Renee. I appreciate that. Yes, so it is in the description, and I'll make sure that it's on our website as well. Uh, see, oh yeah, okay, so more people are popping in. This is great. So the three secret uh, requirements are unexpected intersections. So whatever that means to you, unexpected intersections, uh, a town by the water, and a knapsack with a mystery item inside. And those are listed um, on our website now through a little, a giant, well, actually it's quite giant button that you can download, it's all there. But unexpected intersections, a town by the water, and a knapsack with a mystery item inside. Uh, could I post the link on Instagram? I'm not sure if it, because it's a Zoom link, but I will do my best. Uh, just give me one moment. Uh, any other questions from anybody while I while I try to try to try to do that? Awesome. Okay. Great. Well, this is exciting. I'm very excited. I'm just gonna chill out. Um, yeah, unexpected intersections, a town by the water and um, a knapsack with a mystery item inside are the three requirements. And yeah, again, I just want to thank the city of Barrie. Oh, no problem. Oh, great. I'm so glad. Yeah, no, this is exactly what we wanted. Um, Amanda on our Instagram just said this is a great motivation. And this is exactly, you know, what this was all supposed to be about, right? I mean, it's obviously been such a destructive year uh, to the for the performing arts in general. And, um, you know, I feel I know for myself, it's been a very difficult time to feel creatively motivated. So just the chance to, uh, you know, uh, do something like this, give people a little bit of motivation, a little competition. Uh, you know, the fact that we have a cash prize also is amazing. That's really great. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just so happy that this is happening and that we are able to offer this and hopefully, yeah, people find it very motivating. That's awesome. Uh, Kelly, I'm posting the link right now. There we go. So that goes to the play contest. And then you'll, if you go to the, um, if you go to the left-hand column, you'll see a giant button that says information package, and it should have all of that right there. I hope that helps. Now, in terms of Instagram. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, any other questions? Instagram, I think what I'll probably do is I'll... Oh, we're in the Spark session, says Leah. Leah, perhaps would you be able to send the, the link or post the link through the Instagram chat? Links are in the event on Facebook. Yeah. Leah, I'm just wondering if you could post the, the link. Awesome. Glad that worked out for you, Kelly. That's great. Unexpected intersections, a town by the water, and a knapsack with a mystery item. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So whatever that means to you is what it is. And uh, we are having a, a Spark session right now. Um, this is where, yes, yeah. Gordon, yes, yeah, that is that is correct, yeah. And yeah, so we're having a, um, a Spark session right now uh, where writers can get together and start to kind of like explore ideas. Um, it's uh, It's gonna be great. Thank you, Leah. I appreciate that. And thank you, Marissa. <laughs> okay, it's posted there. Awesome. Well, maybe I'll just go live for a couple more minutes, uh, just in case there's any other questions or anybody uh, has anything to ask. Trudy's in the waiting room of the Spark session. Awesome. 
Oh, well, this is great. It's so nice to see all these people popping up and uh, and getting excited about this. This is awesome. Uh, Leah, I think we are. Uh, Trudy is saying that she's in the waiting room, though. Trudy, we'll get you in. We promise. Great. Cool, cool, cool. Gonna write a play. She's in. Great. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Unexpected intersections. Unexpected intersections. Emily, I'm sure we'll get you in too. Yeah, what I love about the three, um, the three, you know, select, uh, I guess, secret requirements is that we really tried to make sure that they were very interpretive. You know, like unexpected intersections could be anything. It could be two people, a stranger's meeting, old friends, old enemies meeting. It could be a physical location. It could be some sort of transformation of some kind. All right. Okay, I see there might be is there a passcode? Yes, I think there is, Emily. Let me see. Oh, awesome. Uh, the three requirements. Yeah, so uh, they are unexpected intersections. Unexpected intersections. A town by the water. And, um, oh my gosh, I've said it so many times. Unexpected intersections, a town by the water, and a knapsack with a mystery item inside. And this is also all available on our website, on our website, which is theaterbythebay.com slash play contest. Uh, you'll see a big button underneath where it says contest date and time. You click that button and there'll be a PDF with all the information. I feel like I need like waiting room music or something. Okay, good. Trudy's in. That's great. All right. Well, uh, if there's no more questions, again, all this information is available on our website in the Facebook event. It's not giving you a PDF. Okay. Let me see here. Technical times. There we go. Okay, Gabe, could you try that again for me?
Emily, you might just want to try restarting Zoom. If it's frozen or if it's spinning around and not connecting, sometimes it's just better just to like end it and come back to it. Uh, that's a great question, Josh. So we don't want the name of the playwright on the script itself. Awesome, Gabe. Uh, yeah, so we don't want the name of the playwright on the script itself because when you hit that uh, submit button, it'll take you to a nice Google form. And that's where you'll put uh, your name, your address, all your information. Uh, and so that way it's not on the script so that it is anonymous. But we still, you know, but then we still also know who won and know how to contact you. Does that make sense? Good question, though. And again, I, I hope we made that pretty clear on the, the PDF on our website as well. And thank you, Gabe, for bringing it to my attention that the link wasn't working. OK, well, things are starting to wrap up, I think. So awesome. OK, great. Awesome, Josh. Have fun. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what you guys write. Uh, OK, so things are kind of wrapping up. So I think I'm probably going to go. But we are still available. And definitely check out that Spark session as well. Uh, if you want some feedback or if you have any additional questions, that's what um, uh, Leah and Matt will be there to assist you with. Uh, otherwise, the, dead, the timer has started. And um, I'm very excited. 6 p.m. tomorrow is the deadline, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys create. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you, everybody. So just to go over it one more time, the three requirements are unexpected intersections, So the, the th which is the theme of Culture Days this year, unexpected intersections, the landmark of a town by the water, and a prop, uh, a prop of a knapsack with a mystery item inside. How you interpret that, it's all up to you. Oh, no problem, Gordon. Happy to help. Uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy. I cannot wait. I'm so excited to see what you guys make. And uh, happy writing. Happy writing, everybody. Okay. See you later.